So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. They told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. You're now hot. A couple years later, some soldiers <laughs> captured my mother. Took her somewhere. Make sure to wear clothes. We never saw her again. You got it. We drifted around. You gotta go change. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was 13. about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Yep. Last Mustang over there. We still heading the right way? That yep, depends. Right over that ridge. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. Do you know this area? A you little. Shoot that rabbit, dude. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them there, too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go Except wrong with sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. All right, let me shoot the deer at least. Come on, hey, bruh. You, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Guess so. What are you working on there anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better What's up, than that you? stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Just put it down under there. You acquired some herbs. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You were wrong, Jose. Settle in and probably take a little break. Perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then, Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off 
when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. Fantastic. The will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Alrighty. It's my little slice of heaven. Horseshoe Overlook. Chapter 2. We got off the mountain. Road east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. I got my hack. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that sure creepy did. little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. All right, let's get Mr. Morgan here shaved. Look at that shit. Long as fuck. Let's trim that shit down. Oh, uh, we can bring the light. Oh, okay. So right now we're at a four out of ten. This is a four for him. This is a four for me. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, what if we uh, get the chin down low? Get the chops out of there. Keep the mustache kind of like that. <laughs> is that me? <laughs> let's get out of that. Let's take a look at that. Is that me right now? <laughs> Not bad, hey. <laughs> well, let's see what I can do about these clothes, too. Alright, save that outfit, please. Goofy, yeah. Kind of want to shave it down. All the way. <laughs> wow. What a difference. Alright. Back in action, bro. Arthur. How's the cigar? No outfit Not suitable bad. for cold weather but on your horse? Sometimes I prefer a pipe. Okay. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old... You tell me I have to go back in there and <laughs> customize a different outfit? Well, if I find one, you can have it. What do you ask for? You are a gentleman, Mr. A Morgan. pipe? I raised you well. <laughs> I don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> Hold F1 for details. Dutch asked for a pipe. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. You were right about this. Place. How you doing, Hosea? Good spot. You'll do for now. My favorite old man. Lenny! Did you see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. Love you, Lenny. Is that a... No, it's Abigail. How you doing, Abigail? Oh, it's a chicken. Study the chicken. <laughs> this is what I hopped on for. I gotta study this fucking chicken. Study Nell? Okay, I thought I was studying Abigail for a second. <laughs> study okay, her. Abigail. In. Added uh, Abigail to my compendium. Who's that out there? Is that Strauss? What's up, dude? Hello, Mr. Strauss. Good morning, Arthur. What's up, you little shit? Can I punch him? <laughs> You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent feller behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there now. Hope you choke on it. What? I want to hit him, dude. Stay out of my way, O'Driscoll. <laughs> can I take a bowl? I can. Okay. Can I just eat it in front of him? Can I go eat it in front of him? <laughs> oh no! Well, let me try that shit. This is my evil playthrough, so 
<laughs> I gotta do the part. Start munching on it. Right in front of this guy. Just down it right in front of him. Don't forget about me. I'm starving. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Oh, this is... <laughs> poor dude. He's all hunched over and shit. 